Welcome back. Creating a community, that's the mission of Sunshine Communities. It's a nonprofit in Maumee that has been supporting people of all ages with developmental disabilities for over 70 years. This afternoon, we have Lana Smucker with us from Sunshine to talk more about the organization's events coming up. Lana, thanks for being here today. Of course. Tell, if you weren't aware of it, I live near Sunshine, but, but tell, tell our viewers exactly uh, what the services you provide. So we support people with developmental disabilities in all kinds of ways. Uh, so a big one would be through residential services. So on our campus, we have about seven homes and there we support people who have more involved medical needs. Um, we have a full-time nursing staff. Um, we also have homes out in the community. So you might see our buses driving around, the big have, white yeah. buses, green and yellow stripes. Um, they're probably transporting people who live out in the Toledo area in Lucas and Wood counties. Um, and we also have uh, vocational services. So some people will come to campus or to other sites that we have for day programming or they might come for supported employment. So some people actually earn a wage. Um, they might work at our greenhouse, our barn, shredding, janitorial, um, or at Georgette's, our coffee shop, our art studio, Sunshine Studios. So there's all kinds of uh, services that we have. Sunshine's been around for 75 years next year, 75 yes. years. How did it all begin? So it began with Roy and Georgette Angler. Um, they were a couple who back in the 40s had five children with developmental disabilities. Oh, wow and they started visiting different um, institutions in Ohio and they were looking for a place where maybe their children could receive some care, some support and they were appalled with what they saw and they thought that they could do something better uh, with more care and more love and so they started what was called Sunshine Children's Home which many people know us as um, and they started with supporting about 10 children, and then they just kept growing to 40, 90, and now we support about 250 individuals. In terms of uh, facility growth, what have you seen the last several years? So we've had a lot of growth in kind of pockets. Um, we, our main campus in Maumee is about 77,000 square feet, and we've built onto that building over many, many years. Um, our vocational services is a very large building on our campus. Um, back in the 80s is when we grew to having homes out in the community. And so that really stretched where we are and where people live and their independence. Um, and we've grown to build some homes. Um, and we've grown how we support people through transportation. So we have a whole department. Um, we have a whole maintenance team that services our vehicles. Um, so we just keep growing and growing. So you got some fundraisers coming up. First, let's talk about the MUM sale. Tell yes. me about that. So our Sunshine Greenhouse is one of our supported employment programs. Um, a crew of individuals works there every day and they grow plants. And on October 5 and 6, um, we'll be able to sell plants, um, mums, fall-related plants. Um, you can come to the greenhouse on our campus, and we actually now accept credit card. Oh, so boy. That's an improvement. Yeah, this is good prices, too. Mums for uh, $2 for 4 inches and $5, $8, and you get crates of them. So, yes. yeah, if you want to load up on mums for the holidays, now is a good time to get that. And these are all locally grown? Um, there we... Uh, we purchased them, um, but the individuals have been involved in growing them so far for a few months, and we have lots of different colors and lots of different options. And, the ho and Halloween is coming up, so you've yes. got a, uh, your, your scary, your spooky boardwalk. Tell me about that. Yes, so one of our crown jewels on our campus is <laughs> our boardwalk, and it's a quarter mile long, fully accessible boardwalk. Um, right in our backyard and so we invite the community to come to our campus and come and stroll along our, our beautiful campus. We have 50 vendors 
who come and hand out candy and represent their organizations. It's free, it's open to the public, it's on a Sunday afternoon and we October would love to 15th, have Sunday, October 15th. Yes. From 2 to 4. And yep. it's free for friends and family to come on out. So yes. that, that sounds like a lot of fun. Listen, Lana, thank you so much and telling us more. It's it's just we're so lucky to have organizations like yours in our organization, in yes. our in our area here. Thank you so much. Yeah.